Hey guys, welcome back. Today, just a quick video, I want to take a look at these LEDs. If you'll notice, this LED has three leads. And there's three leads because inside here is actually two separate LEDs of different colors. I wanted to show you guys this because not everyone knows they exist and in some projects these things are perfect. You can get these in a range of colors. This one here is red and green. And if you look at the middle here, you'll notice that there's that fat part of the LED, the anvil, which is the negative part, and then on either side, rocking it back and forth so you can see it, there's the skinny end, which is usually the positive. So this has common negative and a positive for each LED. This is perfect in projects where you don't have much space, but you need an indicator for two separate things. Like, for example, the red LED can be used for let's say if you turn on your power supply but the output isn't active and then you can switch it to green when the output is active let me just rig this up on a breadboard real quick and we can take a look at this so I have the LED set up in the breadboard right here the middle pin here being the ground and these two ends being either the red or the green don't know which one's which we'll figure it out soon enough I'm gonna set my multimeter to diode check so on this meter you go into ohms and then you hit this button once, and there you go, diode check. I've got these little uh, test pliers connected to my multimeter. I got these in a mailbag video. Okay, have a negative side here. I know the negative's in the middle, so I'm just going to put that on here. And I don't know if you can see that, but the red LED is lit. About 1.8 volts is the voltage drop hit hold by accident there. There we go. 1.8 volts. And the green one should be just a little bit more, but I'm not sure if um, the battery capability in here is enough to to turn on very bright. So let's take a look here. It is on very, very faintly. Almost 1.9 volts. This meter uses two AAA batteries, so the diode check mode is kind of iffy for these higher uh, voltage LEDs. Uh, I also find that the technology they used for the green LED in this specific one is not very good so you need to pump a little bit more current through it to get the same brightness but it still works for what you need to do. So now let me show you how it works. So here's the setup. This is quick and easy. I've got the negative of the LED middle there connect to this 100 ohm resistor and to ground and on this side I have my breadboard set to 3.3 volts you'll see why in a second and now I can take the positive and feed it into the red side and then the red LED lights and I can switch it over to the green side and the green LED lights now you'll see like I was saying the green LED is dimmer that's because it has a higher voltage drop so in the big scheme of things it's getting slightly less current but on top of that I feel like the green uh, the technology for the green LED used in this specific LED isn't that great the great part about these LEDs though is that you can actually light both lights at once if you want as well again the red is swamping it and if I were to use this in a project I would put the resistors on the positive side and then have the negative go straight to ground so you can actually control the brightness of these by the resistance that you put on each line. So here's an example how this can be used. So I just changed this resistor here. So this one is still 100 ohms going to the green. This one here is 150 ohms to try to tame down that red a little bit. You'll see I think the red is still a little bit brighter but we'll, we'll see how it looks. I've got the ground just linked directly to ground here. I've got the power rail, 3.3 volts, coming from here to this two position switch here, switch up, switch down, and when it's down, then the power will be directed through this 150 ohm resistor through the red and to ground. When it's up, it'll go through this 100 ohm resistor through the green and to ground. So this is just an example. So I'm going to set it like this. Let's say this position is our power supply is off. The output is off. 
Okay, and in this case, look, it's turned off, so there's no power light there, and no LED. Now if I turn on the power, the LED lights up, but red. I'll just tilt that a little bit so you can see. So that means our power supply is on, but there's no output. Now let's say you switch the output, boom, now it becomes green. And you see the colors are a bit more balanced, right? You see that the red's not so overwhelming. Usually you can pick up these resistor values from, you know, those uh, LED strips. You can see the uh, SMD resistors that are on there. The red will have a slightly higher resistance because the red has a lower forward voltage. So it's usually brighter for the same amount of voltage. So yeah, just a quick video just to show you that there's different possibilities out there and um, maybe get your mind wandering a little bit on what kind of projects these things would be useful. So I know definitely I'm going to have some sort of power supply project with my bench top power supply that I have, but I may have a play with this for other projects too. Stay tuned for that on later videos. Thanks for watching.